what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another one. We are in West Texas. I won't say exactly where, but we're out in West Texas. And I apologize for the wind noise, obviously, because we're in West Texas. But we're doing some hog hunting and some feeder filling this weekend. That's Bryce from Brush Brothers Outdoors. His channel will be linked down in the description below if you guys want to go check it out. But we're going to have some fun this weekend. We've already had a blast. And that was back at camp. You guys have already seen that video. If you haven't, you need to go watch it. Because we had an absolute disaster in camp uh, earlier this afternoon. A lot of fun. Go check that video out, but watch this one first. But we're gonna, we've been in for probably 10 or 15 minutes. I've just been trying to get stuff sorted out so we can get ready to hunt. But, um, waiting on pigs, waiting on coyotes, waiting on bobcats, anything that wanna, wants to walk out in front of us. So we've got another probably, what time is it? 753. 7.53. It doesn't get dark. Until nine, about 9 15, o'clock. Yeah, 9.15. Yeah. So we have about another hour, hour and a half until complete darkness. So we'll see what happens here in the next couple hours, or hour and a half, I guess. And uh, hopefully we can shoot something. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Because uh, we're doing fun stuff all the time. All the time. You guys don't want to miss it. So, uh, here we go. It's super, super hot. But we're hunting and having a good time, so we're not going to complain. I was at I was at such a bad angle and I was like calm down because I'm like leaning over the seat like this and I'm trying to get in position and then wham dude oh he's kicking I'm fixing to get up if he gets up and that dude runs off I'm if he even it. makes an effort I'll bust out a mag him. Oh, no, you don't. Anyways, how freaking cool is that? We have an enormous pig down. I can't wait to see what the cutters look like on him. Dude, I think he might... Look at the shield on him. Yeah, he's a big old pig, dude. <laughs> we're just sitting here talking. And we're watching these deer up here in front of us. And Bryce turns around and he's like... I'm like, what? He's like, pig. I'm, I turn around and look, and I'm like, oh, wow. That's a really large hog. <laughs> Pick up the gun and pop, dude. That was an insanely good shot, too. Thanks. 
I hope the ATN picked it up all right. Um, I got this scope from Guns and Chicken Strips. ATN sent it to us like two years ago, and it's been a while since I've used it. I tried to get it as focused as I could without like, you know, make it, without being too zoomed out. But it's kind of difficult to do, especially when you're in a situation like that oh, where yeah. everything is just like, ah, you're in panic mode. But no, that was freaking awesome. I was telling Bryce uh, when we were watching these deer over here, I was like, at least we didn't get skunked. And it was like right after I said that, you turned around and you're like, oh, <laughs> big, big. So freaking awesome. Let's, we'll get down here in just a minute and go recovering. But huge thanks to Bryce. That was freaking awesome. He's like, shoot it. And I'm like, are you sure? Like, are you sure you don't want to shoot it? And he's like, yeah, shoot it. I don't care. I'm like, all right. I'm going to have to twist my arm. <laughs> <laughs> I love shooting pigs. I can't wait to go take a look at this guy. He's enormous. All right. I hope he's not dead whenever we get up here and you have to shoot him with a nine. <laughs> How crazy that would be. Yeah, was... So, hold on, I'm gonna film something real quick. So, so all afternoon, we've been walking around through all this stuff, except for whenever we were in the stand. I don't know what this stuff is. Do you guys know the name of this brush right here? But listen to this. Whenever you kick it, or hit it with a bag, it sounds exactly like a dadgum rattlesnake. And I can't tell you how many times it's gotten me and Bryce too. There was one on the way to the blind that we both thought 100% was a rattlesnake. We both froze in our tracks and kind of jumped back a little bit. Oh, just the brush. But please let me know what this crap is in the comments. Hopefully one of you guys knows. Hey Bubba. Hey fat boy. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Oh my gosh. Look at the teeth on him. That's a good shot. Thanks. Well, I guess I was just looking at a weird angle. They're not as good as I thought they were. They're still freaking awesome. Right See where they back stood. That's right where I was aiming. That was a good shot. Thanks. See how they're back? Yeah, is. you're right. Look how big his freaking feet are. Bryce was saying that their front shoulders out here because of it's like hilly and mountainous. Their front shoulders are way like bigger and bulkier than their back quarters are, which is totally true. Look, they seem so much skinnier in the back. Mm -hmm. And I know part of it's that he's got a shield on him, but still, I mean, there's like his shield's not even that good. Look at look at his neck. Look about oh yeah, six inches up. Whoa! Check that freaking mass out yeah. on his neck, dude. What is that? I'm not. <laughs> we'll cut no it open. No way. <laughs> I've but never seen anything like that before. These stinks. Yeah, you can just tell. Look, I mean, yeah. they're not really. Yeah, they're, I mean, there's muscle there, but there's not. Right. It's like they use their front legs to pull themselves up more than they do anything. Oh, yeah, you still got about one ring. Yeah. Dude, what is that mass on his neck? Like right there. Yeah, right there. It's squishy. It's a tumor. I wonder if it is. It could be something that from blood filling up back there. Oh yeah, that's or true too. Well, I know he was quartering to me, so I know the bullet that had bullet to have gone through that way. Right right I wonder yeah. if it got an exit. I don't know. It might have exited like here or or right there. I mm -hmm. see a lot of blood. That's wild. I don't know. How would you like to have one of them stuck in your leg? That was better. You hear them grinding together, sand in there. Big boy. Mm -hmm. His other side's broke off. I've seen these before, like in books or something. I think it was where I saw it. I don't remember what they. Oh no, they look like a bird right here. I don't. Re I don't know what they do to you, but I recognize them from like learning about them in science yeah. or something. You know. I don't know what kind of bug it is. Well guys, we made it back to camp. Here's one more look at him. We had an awesome time this afternoon. And since it's so hot, because it's July in Texas, um, we're gonna go fill some feeders tonight. And then, 
probably not going to film much of that because we just want to get it done, get it knocked out. That way we have more time to just kind of relax in the AC tomorrow. Get some editing done for you guys because um, I've kind of been slacking behind on that. But anyways, uh, super uh, really good pig. I think we may actually drag him over and put him on the scales. So guys, I want you to leave a comment and let me know how much you think this pig weighs. Let's take one more look at him. Let me get out here. So here you go. Here's one good look at him. You guys get your guesses in. Me, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna call him 225. Sorry, you guys probably can't see me. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna call him 225, roughly. Um, that's after dragging him a little bit. He may be more than that maybe less who knows I used to be really good at judging the weight on these things but I'm not as good as I used to be because I just haven't done it in so long but like I said we've got a skill drop a comment down below and let me know what you guys think the weight of this pig is for whoever guesses it the closest I will send you a broadhead case so it's a little container made by Easton there's a cap on the top cap on the bottom and it holds three broadheads on top, three broadheads on bottom. Great little travel slash carry case for all your broadheads. Keeps them away from your strings and, of course, fingers and other things like that. Whoever gets closest to the weight, I will send you a broadhead case. So, like I said, drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Let me a big old thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this video. And be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm going to get me a scale back at the house. So what I can do now is I can start... Um, weighing all these pigs that I shoot and then I can start doing more giveaways to you guys for uh, weight guesses. <clears throat> I'm super curious to know what he's going to end up weighing. Ah. That's good. Alright, start taking your guesses now. <laughs> He's long. Look at his tail. His tail's so funny. <laughs> All right, that's it. What are we settling out at? I don't know. I can't see. Yeah, it's got to be the red one. Two twenty. Two twenty. Well, two nineteen. Two nineteen. Heck yeah. So 2, 20, 40, 60, 80. Oh no, wait. 2, 2, 10, 10 oh, 209. 30, 40, 50, yeah. 209. Yep. 209, sorry. We're both off a little bit. Yeah. That's it, still a, I mean. He's still. Freaking good thing. He's huge. He looks so much, kill that thing, whatever it is. It's like a bird flying at us. Dude, when he crushed the dog. <laughs> he looks so much bigger than that, though. So my guess from. 225 wasn't too far off. Neither was yours. You said 230. Yeah. So we were both pretty dang close here. So that was awesome. We had an awesome time. Big old pig. Dude, I kid you not, whenever I saw him down there at the feeder, I was like, oh, he's like 300 all day. Mm. And he's another 100 pounds. Here you go. I'll, I'll crank this. But yeah, that was that was awesome. We had so much fun. He's got super cool looking hooves on him too. I've never seen one with all white hooves the way his are white. And they're really long. Do y'all normally notice that because of the sand? That, that they that they need longer hooves to be able to get through the sand. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Be sure to check out Brush Brothers. They'll be linked down in the description below. Um what else? What else? What else? Oh yeah, uh, all the four B caps, decals, and bait are all in stock on the website, which will also be linked in the description below. Um, whoever guessed without cheating. Because I know, I'm sure some of you fast-forwarded. Um, but without cheating, whoever guessed really close, I'll send you the broadhead box. Or guess right on the mark. Um, but anyways, I'm just glad to get back and have some fun while we do it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Let me a big old thumbs up. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.